so good morning good afternoon good evening this depends on where you're watching from my name is zp or zipora gichohi if you want zp the nurse is just a name on the youtube like i've said before if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i don't take it for granting the for granted the overwhelming support that you guys you guys have been giving me the sharing the commenting the interaction guys keep keep it coming keep it coming so today is a new day that the lord has made it for us and we should be rejoicing and be glad in it and i want us to talk about um the money in and the money out in the u.s for a new international nurse i've been saying that life in america is better than kenya but then again ask yourselves is it really better for a new immigrant like is it really better or like is it really good for the first time international nurse like when you've just landed like zp the first three months when you're on orientation in your hospital how good is it or how bad is it so there's this question that people have been asking me zp you're being paid 32 dollars and you're on orientation are you able to pick up an extra shift at your workplace the answer is no so how is life is it bearable the answer is yes would you still compare life in kenya and life in america given a chance that you're not doing an extra shift in your place of work or you'd still choose america the answer is yes i would still choose america but how much money are you getting because you've told us your bills are 1600 oh blah 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 and so many dollars that you're telling us there we've done your calculation zp and we know you're not earning anything yo it's true i'm not getting anything because i'm a new international nurse who just landed here i'm on orientation so i'm not making much but give me three months after i'm done with my orientation which for me in this case i'm already done but for you who will land here for the first three months how much money are you expecting to bag at the end of the month how much money are you expected or are you expecting to save at the end of the month let's do this calculation me and you together this journey is ours we are all learning so you come from kenya in this case i like referring kenya because um that's where i am that's where i come from i'm a kenyan so let's talk about international nurse who have just landed how much money is coming in and how much money is going out i'll give you an example of myself I had written something down for you guys. So the money in per week, the money you'll be getting at the end of the week. Give me a calculator. Give me the other phone. So the money in at the end of the week, you'll ha you'll be earning thirty-two dollars per hour, and you'll be working three days in a week. So that is thirty-six times thirty-two, because you're not getting an extra shift. So per week, how much will you be earning? Let's see that. So it's 32 times 36. 36 times 32. So in a week you'll be earning 1152. You see that? 1152. Then you multiply by 4 because that's what you're earning. So in a month you've made 4608. Remember we said for some agencies they give you your salary by weekly but for others they give you your salary weekly in this case metro gives you your salary per week so let's do it per week okay so you've earned your 1000 you've earned your 1152 in this salary that they've given you in that salary that they've given you that is the money in that's the gross it's not the basic it's the gross they've not deducted their taxes they've not deducted their um, they've not deducted their taxes and they've not deducted the because you normally have state taxes and you normally have federal taxes so in that week um if we do we do subtractions if we calculate the taxes you'll be left with um about 800 minus about 800 because for me i normally receive 800 let's so let's work with 800 okay let's work with 800 so after deductions that is nss a not nssf 
the states uh, the state taxes the federal taxes federal is the overall government and then the state tax the one that belongs to north carolina because we have state taxes and then of course for medpro we have not yet enrolled for the 401k but we have the medical insurance for med medical insurance coverage for you and your family like for mine i think it's about 100 and it's about 100 no it's 99 dollars if i'm not wrong i think it's 99 like, call it 100 so from that 1152 minus 100 for the insurance and then minus call it 150 for the state and federal tax so you're left with 900 guys so let's assume per week because they deduct the amount of money they are giving you they deduct the taxes and the insurance and everything weekly because they're giving you their money your money weekly so what will happen it's 900 900 times four so at the end of the month as an orientee, that's the amount of money you're making. This is raw and filtered and scripted video of how much you will be earning when you land here as a new nurse. That is what I've been getting as a new nurse. So you've gotten your 3,600, right? I told you that my rent is 1,500. <laughs> So we've been left with 3,000, 3,000, how much was it? It was 902 times 4 to give us 3,608. So we said my rent is 1,000, call it 1,600. Then with utilities, my, my water normally comes around $80, so minus 80, and electricity about 80. Yo, hmm. Then you have the car insurance minus five forty because not the car insurance, the car loan minus five forty. I hope you are calculating with me. You come with me downstairs. That is the car loan. Then I subtract the car insurance. I got a two hundred. Then you have phone bills. So phone bills you get like about for me it's normally a hundred and twenty. Then you give yourself, like for me, I normally give myself around 200 for entertainment. 200. So from, if you've been calcula calculating with me, the amount of money that I've been left with at the end of the month is that one. I'm only working for three days. I'm not yet off orientation. It's only three days in a week and I rest the rest of the days as I wait for me to like, finish the orientation and start picking extra sheets. So, assuming hmm, this 788, you're from Kenya, that's in dollars. So, assuming you just subtract 200 out of that, 200, you're left with 580. That's, I'm doing calculations as per me. You're left with uh, 588. Just call it 500, actually. Just call it, you have to be disciplined with your, your finances. So, just call it, um, just call it 500. So assuming you've been left with 500 USD, right? So you want to tell me this 500 USD, you will not be able to get a chunk of this amount and save, even if it's 5,000 Kenyan shillings. They are still on orientation. So if somebody was to ask me, would you go back to Kenya or would you say life in Kenya was better because at the end of the day, you're still struggling. Yes, I would say, I will not go back to Kenya. How much I'm struggling? Because it's only for a while. It's only like three months. I'll struggle for on, only three months. Okay? So if I struggle for only three months, it means after I'm done with my orientation, me as a new immigrant nurse, after I'm done with my orientation, it means after the three months, I'll be able to pick an extra shift. Okay? If I'm able to pick an extra shift, it will mean... I will be able to earn more or even be left with more than 500 per month. Do your math, do your math correctly. And then in this case, in this case, remember you didn't do the groceries, but for the groceries for me, I told you in the other video when we were alive, how much, like how I do it. So it's not that. And I didn't want to calculate my rent when I'm doing this video, owing to the fact that I'm like sharing my rent with somebody. Okay. So I wanted to give it raw the way it is for what you expect. Do not come with an expectation that the money is a lot. 
come with an expectation that the money is there, but I have to be patient with myself for the first three months because I'm still on orientation. But if you were to ask me, for me, for me personally, for me, it has been a big deal because I have been able, for the last four months, I've been able to do things that I wouldn't have done if I was in Kenya for those four months, or things that I had not done in Kenya for the months that I was there or for the years that I was there. Guys, like I told you, I was in a very nice hospital that was paying me very well, but not very well. Maybe I, I didn't know how to my, manage my finances. Maybe right now I know how to manage my finances. I don't know because I think for me it's making a big deal. It's like it's a big deal. So for you as an immigrant who is planning to come to the U.S. as an immigrant, you're in this journey. You're planning... I will go there and buy a big vehicle, you know, I'll buy a Jeep. If you're planning to come and do that, just know you start planning early. And I've been insisting, if you plan early enough, it will be swift for you. Because even during the months of orientation, it will be easy. Now, let's look at this nurse who arranged herself before she came there, not like Zippy. Now, let's flip it the other way around and imagine somebody who had money and didn't spend that money on doing a BSN in Kenya and just decided, let me save this money to go and buy a vehicle. Because when you come here, you can even get a vehicle at maybe 10,000, 4,000. You only need a car that will take you to work. You don't need a zero mileage. Because like I've told you guys, me, if I had money, I would have come, bought the car cash with the cash money that I would have come with from home. Instead of now the 500 that I'm paying, 500 would have come in handy because I planned myself early. So you who is there and you're planning to come here, my advice is just save enough money for a car. If you have a car right now and you know you will sell it at some point, you will dispose it at some point, can you use that money to come and buy? Like try to minimize the usage at some point. If you get the dates and stuff, like be saving. In short, save, 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 save. If you can save enough for you to come and get a car with your own money instead of buying a car, like a new car, like instead of getting the loan from the federal credit unions it would be a big deal for you because imagine for me if i had money i wouldn't be having the 540 dollars per month it would it would be making a big difference so if i'm managing to see like i have around 800 if, if, if i'm managing to see like have like 800 without of the orientation that means that's a big deal plus the 500 that i'm paying for the insurance for the car the insurance still remains you must have an insurance health and Health and um, health and what? Health and car insurance. That's a must for you to have. So those ones you can't have it. But at least you can avoid the five hundred and forty, the one I'm paying per month. If you arrange yourself before you come here. Now the reason as to why when you are a new immigrant nurse, a new international immigrant nurse, the reason as to why you'll end up looking for a supplemental income, it's because you find that. You're new in this country and you find that life is kind of hard for you. You're not able to adjust to the bills because you don't even know one cent is worth the American. Like, you know, the American dollar, you're not, you're not able to understand how it's going. Maybe you're given even a change. We only know of $100. The rest is 10 The rest is 50 we, I, Like, for me, when I was coming here, I knew $150 and then $20 and $10. So, like, when you see these other five and the cents and everything, it confuses you. So, you're still not able, like, you're not understanding the concept of the whole thing, the money and stuff. So, that is why you find that most of us, like, I don't know, if the state you are in or the place that you're staying has got those SNL facilities, you end up picking an extra shift. Like, for me, I told you, when I'm free from my hospital, like my main job, I go for the side hustle to supplement what I'm getting because I'm like, if I wanted this too little because I still have a lot of things that I need to do that I had not finished because at the end of the day, I'm not planning to stay here. I had a house that I was building maybe. I had a pro project that I had started that had maybe like gotten, like had, st like had stagnated at some point. So I'm trying like, like I need to catch up, you know, I need to catch up. So I have to go for that extra shift because at my facility, like my main employer cannot give me an extra job, an extra shift, simply because I'm still an OGT. But you can get it elsewhere. The SNF facilities, they'll give you, as long as you qualify, as 
you apply and then they do a background check for you you're not a criminal your license is fine you have no like you know you're fine they'll give you an extra sheet so i thought it's important for us to come and discuss this so that i might have said that oh life is good you know life is good in america then people are like yeah i want to go because life is good you have to know that in the first three months during our orientation like the first three months like let's call it the first four months life will be a bit shaky for you and then after you're done you will try to adjust you'll try to adjust because you're now getting an extra shift when you get an extra shift it becomes a bit easier for you by the time you're hitting one year you already got into the system you already got into the money you already know the tunes that we see more than stuff like you know everywhere so it becomes easy for you so guys don't crucify me when i say for me life is a bit different i'm giving you my my experience how i am feeling because given a chance i would still take america even if i was to remain an orientee because if i step out of this house and go look for a job i'll get a job and after every two weeks if not one week i'll still get something back home like i've told you as a nurse you live a life of struggling but it's not every nurse back home who struggles there are some nurses who have good money maybe they have good they come from not humble backgrounds they come from very nice backgrounds and then they got married or they married from people who have good money so they're not struggling and then they hear you saying that we are struggling as nurses they're like hmm why are you struggling so i'm talking about me and you who is there who is like in my situation i said from the word go let me be used as a good example out there you're like if zip made it i'll also make it so don't be discouraged and at the same time do not have high expectations and then another thing have a positive mind let people not discourage you out there and tell you oh life in america is expensive everybody will tell you that but everywhere everywhere you go life will be very expensive if you are a migrant if moving from one estate in kenya i'm talking to those people in kenya if you're moving from rongai and you're going to kilimani life will be very expensive for you because you're used to buying sukuma wiki for i think 20 bob but when you go to kilimani yo you have to spend some money you know so it is it is kind of the same like if you move from nakuru you go to nairobi it's the same thing life will be a bit shaky shaky for you until you get used to the surroundings you get used to the like where do they buy groceries where do they do things what how, you know and you have to be open minded open mindedness and being positive being positive being optimistic be do not be pessimistic don't listen to those negative vibes you know that don't listen to those people who are discouraging you because i remember me even when i was in, like in the process i'm supposed to ask you eh hey, you want to go and work there and the way people get tired yes we get tired if you don't want to get tired ogao you will not get money you have to work hard for you to get money in america like i've told you before there is money but you have to work there is money The systems are working in such a way that if you're muklima mdogo like if you're just a small farmer like us you will get the money in africa it's the other way around money belongs to the top there are cream eh? the, the, the 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 people who are big like you have to have money for you to wash money for the money to wash you like for you to be clean you know you know you, you know what i'm saying but here even if you're who like you just you know if you if you're able to like kujituma if you're able to get out there and become become somebody in the society you will make it so guys don't feel discouraged when i tell you that i'm paying 1600 i'm paying a carlon of 540 i'm paying a what blah 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 arrange yourself in a way that you will still be left with something after one week, one year things will be different after the second year things will be different after the third year you're done with the contract you'll be like whoa it's like you have deflated so guys don't give up don't feel like it's the end of life no and like i told you guys there's some people telling me oh they're send, sending me inboxes and telling me zippy okay i'm just feeling low i didn't pass my i told you just the other day i had never said this before i told you i did my nclex twice the first time it shut at and i didn't give up i'm that person who even if i make a video and it doesn't come out well i'll still try and try and try the positive mind in me the the resilience you know the positivity the pos- pessimistic the, you know that chasing the goal like you know chasing the goal and it's too bad that I'm chasing it when I'm growing old but I'll make it guys I'll make it I'll make it you know it's a race I'll make it so don't give up even if you're there you're 40 years plus you will still make it and then again if it's not for you your kids man let them come and speak our english open mouth like we say you know what i'm saying so anyway guys i didn't have much to say thank you so much for tuning in 
And if you are there watching without subscribing, we said, you know what we said? Anyway, I'm joking. I joke so much, guys. Don't take things serious. It's a joke. You know, it's not an interview. We are interacting. We are talking so that we understand. We are educating each other. This is what you need to do. Do this, do this, do this. Pa, 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 pa. And then, you know, like run here, run, you know, running errands in our brains and then we get somewhere. So, guys, without that much ado, let me say bye-bye and have a good evening. Have a good night. And don't forget to turn the notification bell because every time we upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified that, hey, ZP has a new video. And of course, you know the vibes, positive vibes all the time. Okay, my makeup artist. You're very rough. Gosh. Uh -uh. Look at your sister. Make a party. She said, you're very rough. Don't hit the camera. You're hitting the camera. Oh, what? Oh, God. Hey. Why did you forget to put you? <laughs> your forehead. Do I have a forehead? Ah, where was Shana and Kituyago? Where did you make a party? Ah, 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 ah. Did you have a forehead? No. Yeah, this is I our stronghold. Bobo ni mama yako unabianisha hizo. But wewe unabianisha mama yako hivyo. Ma, guy, unaniharibu. Guy, Bobo si ndo nanifanya nikue kama wal. Eh, au tujibadisha. Guy. I hate this customer service in alone. The customer is not happy. You blink a lot. You can we can can you do some blushes? I can do your dark mouth here. I don't have darker 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 things. I don't have makeup to do this. Ruby, can you apply for me those gold things? Anyway, Tosha, 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 Tosha. Let me record my video. You're good. So so keep the wave was in your nari. Ah. I'm giving it to Tosha.